it is very important to us that you guys know that in no way, shape, or form did Varla or any other company pay us to make this video or to give our opinions. It was just, hey, if you're interested, give it a go. Let us know what you think. So everything from here on out is our honest opinion. And to be honest, we're not big scooter people. So this was uh, something new for us. Now, before we get this review started, yes, what you read, the title, is for real. Somebody did send us a free electric scooter. There's a company called Varla, who turns out is a fan of the Grim Life Collective. And they reached out to us and said, hey, if we send you an electric scooter, would you review it? And we said, yes. There's Jessica on the scooter. Now, one of the fun things about being in Hollywood, Los Angeles, there are scooters everywhere. You can rent them, get on, and go from point A to point B instead of walking. Now, Jessica and I have both entertained the idea of getting on one of these scooters and just going for a ride. But with everything that's going on, you have no idea where they've been. So we've been looking into buying one. And then, out of nowhere, the company Varla reaches out to us. Now, if you're interested in purchasing this scooter after we're done talking about it, it's gonna run you around two grand with taxes. It's 80 pounds. It does 40 miles an hour. It's on-road, off-road. It's, it's a beast. For the longest time, I had these two keychains from our friends Lucky Hellcat Art and had no clue what to do with them. And it just so happens that the Varla Eagle One comes with two keys. So how perfect is that? Now because the Varla Eagle One is both a city and an off-road scooter, the tires on this thing are freaking massive. And because this thing is off-road and can reach 40 miles an hour, the brakes on this and the suspension are pretty heavy duty. <laughs> this is a little concerning. I was riding around having fun and I braked pretty hard. Not as hard as you would think that you would be if you're going 40 miles an hour or 20 miles an hour on a trail. I mean, I'm in an open parking lot right now and I hit the brake pretty hard so much so that I stopped and now I'm getting this weird sound from one of the tires and I'm trying to figure out what's causing it. I don't know what I did, but I couldn't leave it alone. I had to figure out what the heck was happening to this thing. And I, 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 I touched every little piece of this wheel, wiggling this, touching that, seeing if anything was rubbing or bumping and I couldn't find it. But then I got back on it and the sound went away. So I don't really know what to think. Do I like it? Do I not like it? I don't know. I, I will say this. If you are a person who likes riding scooters off-road, this is probably something that you are absolutely going to love. And you can tinker with it and you can adjust it. The brakes are adjustable. The handlebars are adjustable. Um, but if you're looking for a scooter, an everyday scooter that will just work when you go, I don't know if this is it. $2,000. I think for us, if we were to buy a scooter in Hollywood for what we need, we'd probably go with one of the really cheaper ones. I think that's a fair assumption. What do you think, Jessica? Something more compactable. Something more compactable, something that we can pack up and just take with us. Um, again, not knocking it, 
per se. It's just buy the scooter that fits your needs. This thing is awesome. It's a beast. And thank you, Varla, for sending it to us. But it's a uh, it's exactly what it is. It's a beast. And I don't, I, I don't know if it's broken or if it's not. Just got to play around with it some more. Wherever I come, I'm in love. Just come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always